Hello, history friends. Welcome back. Happy March, and it's the beginning of the wartime ration menu challenge. Hooray! So I, um, I've made one of the meals so far. I thought I would start off with a bang and do breakfast, lunch, dinner, but that didn't happen. So I'm just happy I did one meal. So hooray! And um, this is all that's left. It's a corned beef, scalloped potato, um, diced beets, salad, and a cherry upside down cake which there's not much left of this either. It was really okay. So it was a big success. And um, so I'm, ha I'm happy. And, uh, and it's getting eaten. So, all right. <laughs> um, I, and I realized just, um, just a few moments ago, actually, that uh, the recipes that I pulled for this month's re um, challenge was from March 1942 of this McCall's magazine. The war had just been um, going on for uh, three and a half months. They hadn't started rationing sugar yet or coffee. So in a sense, uh, nothing was being rationed in America. And um, so why is this useful for a ration challenge? Well, I think it is still important, even though I it was a little oversight on my part, but I think it's still valuable to see uh, the difference between um, pre-ration America during the war and then during rationing. And then, um, and then we'll have some recipes that are later in the war too. So um, kind of getting the full spectrum for American rationing. And I mean this, and, and you can tell like this menu has a lot of meat that I, I don't know if it was, as easily available during um, the height of food rationing when it started in March of 1943 because um, every meal has some kind of meat and um, so I I wanted to um, also emphasize that that American rationing is not even comparable to British rationing they're two very different countries to different sizes of continents or an island in um, Britain's case and um, food culture is so different and the resources are so so drastically different so comparing the the two rationing system is very difficult because um, uh, England uh, their situation was so different from uh, ours in America so so if you're wondering why the recipes uh, that I'll be sharing are so full of, you know, dairy and um, eggs and meat and cheese and um, fat it, and missing a, a lot of potatoes. <laughs> it's, it's because it was very different here. So um, I uh, just wanted to make sure that was understood because I think uh, American rationing, British rationing tend to get lumped together, um, but uh, you can't really do that because <laughs> it was so different. But um, yeah, so so far it's been good uh, in the sense of the food was good, but I think I need to try harder in um, you know doing more of the meals uh, because I mean I can. I can easily do dinners because I've got the whole day to think about it and put it together. But um, breakfast for us is usually cereal. And so it's, it's hard to get into the mode of like getting up earlier and preparing this meal that my kids may or may not eat because um, they're just used to cereal. And my husband's rushing out the door. So, and then even lunch is usually leftovers and or sandwiches or soup, just simple stuff. And I usually don't have to work very hard to um, make it. So uh, this is definitely a challenge for me as a cook um, to, to, you know, to incorporate these menus into my life. So <laughs> already a challenge. But anyway, um, I hope you join me. I'm going to leave the links below for uh, my most recent blog post um, talking about the meal that I made and um, and also for um, the post that has the menu you can download for free from my blog, historypreserved.com. So thanks for joining me. Um, I hope you try out some of the recipes 
and keep checking back. I'm going to be talking more about uh, the foods that I'm making. So um, yeah, check back soon. Thanks. Bye.